Hey everyone, so today I'm doing my June favorites video. Um, I know I'm a tad bit early, but I wanted to go ahead and get this out there for you guys. Okay, so I have um, a pretty good amount of new products that I haven't featured yet, um, which is always exciting because it kind of gets boring with like the same products every month. Um, but so yeah, I have some new products I want to share with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. So starting off, I guess I'll just talk about a few um, hair products really quickly, and then I'll get into the beauty products. Um, I have been really been loving my Tresemme 24 Hour Body Weightless Cream, and this is kind of I don't even know how to explain what the consistency of this. Um, this is what it says. It says it's a weightless cream that will add shine, smoothness, and will hold your style from beginning to end. Um, it also has a volume control, and it helps lifting your hair, adding texture, and smoothing flyaways. So whenever, um, since I'm doing like the no heat thing for summer 2010. Um, a lot of times when I don't blow dry my hair, like I'm obviously not blow drying it, um, it gets kind of this awkward wave texture in it. The, um, especially since now I have layers, it kind of creates it just a little bit more wave and body. So I like to use this to kind of play up that wave and get a little bit more texture. Um, just to kind of, you know, go along with kind of the messy, beachy looking hair. So I really like this. It's from Tresemme and it smells really good. It smells really sweet, and um, it's like a little white cream like this, but it blends into your hair, um, and it smells awesome. So I like that, and it's by Tresemme. It's that. I also have been liking, this is my Sidhu um, Beach Beauty Sea Salt Spray, and I like using this, again, when my hair is wet. Um, I spray it all throughout my hair, and then my hair drives to even more wavy than it is right now. Um, I didn't use it today, but normally, if I do use it, it'll be a little bit more wavy. I'm probably going to do a video on this um, because I've gotten like questions on how to do like the beachy look without heat and stuff so like that and the last hair thing is actually my seriously straight and this is by S Factor and this is a straightener and shiner and I spray this in my hair when it's wet sometimes if I want it to be a little bit straighter it also adds a nice bit of shine and a little bit of hold almost like kind of I don't know it gives my hair just like a little bit of hold to where it kind of stays nicely and in place um, and also gives a nice bit of shine which I like from it. it smells great all S Factor products smell about, like amazing so I love this moving on to beauty products I'll start off with like face products um, so this is my Makeup Forever All Matte Base Mattifying um, Primer and this isn't really a new favorite but it is something I want to talk about a little bit when I don't want to wear my Makeup Forever foundation which I normally wear with this um, if I just wear my Gemma Kid Tenet Moisturizer, I always put this on underneath because that just kind of ensures that it's going to stay on all day. And I don't need, you know, all the coverage of the foundation, especially in summer. But I do like my skin to stay looking flawless throughout the day and not fade. And I find a lot of times with Tenet Moisturizers, they fade very quickly. So this just ensures that I'm going to stay nice and um, just, like, fresh looking. I absolutely love this to wear under my foundation as well. So that's that. The next thing is my Chanel Tan de Soleil. This is what it looks like. And um, it's just like a brown kind of moussey consistency. The only negative would be um, my brush like sheds in there. So it's kind of weird. But um, I put it all over my face uh, where the sun would hit, I guess. And it's kind of just a cream bronzer. I'm totally into like the creams um, for summer. I like my face to not be real thick and powdery. So I like anything that's a like, cream. And this gives me a really nice bit of color on my face that just kind of warms up my skin. Uh, looks nice with my blonde hair. It's a little bit pricey, but I definitely think it's worth it. Next thing is another Chanel product. I've, I've just been like in love with Chanel products lately. Um, this one is the Rouge Allure, and this is in number 76. And I never really like, looked up what this is supposed to do, but it says it's a lipstick. And I'll just show you. Okay, so it comes with this little cute packaging. It has a little lip brush, and I'll do a swatch of it. But it's almost like, it's not a lip gloss, um, but it's not really a lipstick either. It's marketed as a lipstick, but it's more of a gloss form, I guess. So there is a swatch of that. I don't know if you can see. Don't mind the little um, mascara mark on there. But it's marketed as like a lipstick, but it has a nice glossy texture to it. So it's interesting, I don't know, um, but it's a beautiful color, it's very kind of like a mid-tone pink, very, very wearable, and I definitely think this will be a favorite of mine for the school year because I like color on my lips, um, but I also like something glossy and kind of in between a lipstick, and this is perfect. So, looking from Chanel is one of their Gloss Fluo, 
Mm, wait, no. They're um, Chanel Brilliant Lip Shines, and this one is in laser. It's like a bright pink. It doesn't. It's very um, sheer, but I do like the consistency of it. It's kind of like a gel almost, opposed to like a lip gloss form. I don't know. It's more jelly, and that's you know you can't see that, but um, it's really pretty over any lipstick. Um, or other gloss you can layer them and it just gives a nice kind of sheen very very glossy finish like you know it looks like diamonds like it's very very glossy and sparkly and the next lip product is from YSL and this is their rouge lipstick in number seven this is what it looks like I think it's the perfect nude pink if I'm gonna wear a nude pink lipstick this is what I would wear because it has a bit more of peak pink Peak. has a bit more of a pink tone opposed to like a peach and um, it's very wearable it's very very smooth it's not at all thick or cakey like most lipsticks so really like that and it has cute packaging and next lip product is actually this is a blissex and this is the medicated berry balm and it's a lip protectant with SPF 15 um, it smells really nice which I really like I guess uh, during the summer my lips get very very dry so like that, it's a must have. I think that's all. Oh, wait, no, one last thing. Uh, the lip color that I'm actually wearing right now is actually Revlon's Fuchsia Fusion Lipstick. And I'll swatch that again for you. There's Fuchsia Fusion. It's a really pretty, bright color. Again, I think I, I don't know, my face looks a little bit better with a little bit of color on it. So I really like this very pretty color for spring and summer. So, like that. And it's from the drugstore, which is always nice. Next thing is the Revlon Age Defying, and this is the Face Illuminator. And I know this is Age Defying, and I know I will have people tell me, like, why are you using aging products? But honestly, I think with makeup, I don't think there are, like, any rules to what you can and cannot use. Like, no, I think if it looks good on you, you can go ahead and use it. You shouldn't listen to, like, people telling you, don't use that. So, whatever. It's basically, like, a liquid illuminator, and it's so messy. It's the only, like con of this product it gets so messy because you twist this little thing and then the product comes out of this little brush which the brush is okay but I kind of prefer to just get it on my finger and then dab it like up my cheekbone opposed to using this brush because this brush is kind of big and that's kind of a lot of highlight my color is in pink light has SPF 18 but it's a really pretty face illuminator ad for this with Jessica Biel was absolutely gorgeous which was the thing that made me want to go buy that so like that. The next thing is my L'Oreal and this is the Telescopic Explosion Mascara and I picked this up in the airport the other day because it looked really weird. Um, it has like a circular, or not circular, yeah, like a little, this is like what the brush looks like. I think it's a copy of like, not a Dior, I don't know, maybe it's like a Lancome mascara or something that has this same kind of brush. Um, as far as the mascara, it's a little bit clumpy and obviously this is a little bit awkward for your lower lashes. But it's kind of a cool way to put mascara on. It's very like separating, I guess, because it is like a ball shape so you can really get in between all your lashes. So that's cool. Kind of a new thing, I guess, that I wanted to include. And the last thing, kind of boring, I guess, but this is my DKNY little roll-on. It actually comes with... The um, pink blossom, I think it is, perfume, and then the green apple, which is the one, my favorite one. It comes like, okay. You roll it off like that, and then you roll it on. I really like this because it's kind of cute and nice for on the go. I had one of these, but it was only the green one, and now I guess they do it um, ah, with the pink one as well. So, I don't know, but the pink one smells nice. Just a little bit, like, cleaner, fresher maybe, so... I don't know, but you could try both of them out without having to buy the full size if you did this. So that'd be, I guess, a good way to like try the scents out. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for my uh, June favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.